Okay, so we're going to do a new saffron quality comparison. We have two of our uh, two brands that we are importing with Occidental Foods. One is Pina, one is Siren. Uh, the Siren is a pre-shipment sample for our lot number 6592. The Pina brand we have is our lot number 6545, packed for Occidental Foods. These are each ISO Category 1 pure saffron filaments. We are going to compare to three other large brands that are available on the market with Broadline Food Service Distributors. We have Harvest of Saffron from International Gourmet. We have the Safrante brand from Atalanta. And we have the D'Alessandro brand from Woodland Foods. We have the lot numbers recorded for each of these three other brands. We're going to do a quick quality comparison in the dry state, and then we're going to do a quick water test to see how they react. So we'll open up each one of these. This is Harvest of Saffron with a long lot number that starts with 1007201. And we'll open up this, take a pinch out, take a look at it in the dry state. In the dry state, we're going to see that looks pretty good in the dry state as most of them do, it's hard to tell the difference when you look at saffron in the dry state between pure saffron and fake saffron. And the way to tell the difference is really doing the water test. So many of these lower grades on the market in the dry state appear to be perfectly fine, but when you do the water test, you can very often find that they are adulterated. So this is the pinch of saffron from Safrante, sold by Atalanta. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and open up D'Alessandro from Woodland Foods. And there's the bottom of the tin. Interestingly, this is uh, somewhat unexpected. Even in the dry state, it's clear that this is actually the lowest quality of these three. I should not say it's clear because the water test is going to tell us much more about each one of them. But at least in the dry state, this would appear to have not only would appear to have a lower number of stigmata, but more importantly, it's. Uh, very fragmented, so the filaments are not really the proper length. But we'll see how they react in the water and see if we have the same opinion after the fact or if that changes with the water test. Now, we're just going to take a quick pinch of the Occidental Foods Saffron. This is a pre shipment sample for a bulk tin, one pound, lot 6592. And the threads are a very nice length, about 20 to 30 millimeters or about one inch on average. And this is Occidental Foods, Pina brand, lot 6545 that we also looked at in the previous couple of videos and pictures when we compared it to Roland brand before. So we're gonna put the Pina and the Siren back there. We have these three so we can see which each one of these are. They are in the order that is listed on the papers up here. So D'Alessandro on top, Safrante in the middle, Harvest of Saffron on the bottom, Siren, Occidental Foods on the right bottom, and Pina, Occidental Foods on the right top. So now we're going to go ahead and do a water test. We're just going to take, we have an even amount of water, each glass here, we're going to take approximately a half gram of saffron threads and place it in the water in each glass. This one, the D'Alessandro is extremely fragmented, just tiny fragments. It's more brittle, indicating it's probably older. This one I was slightly shy on the amount that I put in, so I'm just going to make it so that it's an equal amount with the other two. I think that should be about right. 
And one thing I'm noticing right off the bat with these is that the water is, the color is coming out extremely fast in the water, which we know is not a good sign. Pure saffron, when placed in water, the color should come out very slowly. It should very gradually turn yellow. And that's the pina in the top and the siren. Both are Occidental Foods lots here on the right. And we're seeing an immediate reaction of coloring of the water to a very strong yellow right off the bat, which is already suspect. Again, pure saffron, if you want to grab this over here, pure saffron will turn the water very gradually a clear yellow color. After about 15 to 20 minutes of immersion, it's going to be a very dark yellow, similar to what this is already. But this reaction has been very, very fast, which indicates other problems. Let's get an overhead shot of these on the left. Harvest of saffron, saffrante in the middle, and this is D'Alessandro on the top. The saffrante sample, if you get an up close of that, there is a major problem with this saffron right here. This is not pure saffron, not even close. As you can see, there are numerous threads that are immediately swelling and that have already changed color after immersion in water. Saffron stigmata do not do that. Saffron stigmata will retain their shape and color after immersion in water. They will still retain their deep burgundy color and they're still gonna have that long, elongated trumpet-like shape and it will not change. They will not swell and they will not sink to the bottom. Let's get a shot from down here from the same level of the glass. If you back up just a little bit, you can see how in the saffrante sample and in the harvest of saffron sample, some of the threads are already sinking to the bottom of the glass. Saffron stigmata will not sink when they're immersed in water. And by the way, this is room temperature water and slightly warm, but not, uh, not, not cold and not hot. So you get the best indication of what the product actually is. But in the saffrante sample, I am estimating that approximately 30% of the threads are actually swollen and have changed color. They have wings grown along the side and those are not saffron stigmata. In the harvest of saffron sample, we are also seeing many of the threads swell, probably a slightly lower percentage of them. I would estimate maybe about 20% of the threads have swollen and a number of them have also sunk to the bottom of the glass, which is a troubling sign. In the D'Alessandro as well, you can see several of these sinking to the bottom. You do not see as many that are swollen, but you can see a few of them that are swollen in the D'Alessandro. It's more difficult to see in the D'Alessandro because of the fact that it's so fragmented, it's harder to distinguish. There are such short uh, pieces of thread that they're all jumbled together and it's a little harder to see the ones that are swollen, but you can tell that some of them are, and you can also tell that a significant percentage in the D'Alessandro have changed color after immersion in water. Now, let's compare if we pan out, and as you can see, the interesting thing here is that in the dry state, it's very hard to tell the difference. If you simply look at saffron in the dry state, it's hard to tell the difference between a pure saffron, which you can see over here on the right, and up here on the right versus adulterated saffron. And you can see that very clearly these three are adulterated, especially these two, and much more so these two. The center left and bottom left have a significant percentage of filaments that have changed color immediately after immersion in water and swollen, okay? Furthermore, we can see in the samples on the left compared to the samples on the right, if you look at the samples on the right, you'll see that the water is a very clear yellow color. That's exactly what you want to see, and that's what pure saffron is going to do to water. It will turn it a clear yellow color. Saffron, real saffron, pure saffron, will not turn the water orange or orange red. Now this is fascinating because all three of these brands on the left side are turning the water orange already, and it's only been if my estimate is correct, it's only been about how many minutes from uh, 
the start of the immersion, probably about five minutes, nine minutes from the beginning of the tape. So let's estimate about five to six minutes since water immersion. And even after only five minutes in water at room temperature, we have the saffron already turning the water orange. The D'Alessandro sample, slightly less so. The color of that one is slightly better than the saffrante or the harvest of saffron. However, none of these three are properly coloring the water as pure saffron does. And the examples of pure saffron are here on the right. We have the Siren brand packed by Verdu Canto in Spain, one of the oldest saffron exporters in Spain that we have procured with Occidental Foods in bulk under our lot number 6592. That's a pre-shipment sample. And then, of course, the one ounce uh, restaurant pack that we already have in stock, which is our lot number 6545. And we've been selling that. That is the Pina brand from Antonio Pina Diaz, two of the oldest, most reputable packers in Spain. The samples on the left are now at the point where that water is not just orange, but it's starting to turn orange red. And once again, that is absolutely not something that we should ever see with pure saffron. That is a clear case of adulteration because the saffron stigmata will not provide that color and the stamens and styles from saffron will not provide that color. So something has been done by the packers of these brands to affect it in a way that it is artificially colored. We don't know with what, and that's why it's hard to test for, but what we do know is that it has been artificially colored in some way, shape, or form because it's turning the water orange instead of yellow. And if we zoom out, then we're pretty much done. We now are at about 11 and a half minutes from the start of the video, and I would estimate about eight minutes of immersion in water. Interestingly, these samples, especially these two at the front left, are actually worse than what I've seen with even other brands on the market that were also clearly adulterated because the orange color is already evident even after only about eight minutes of immersion, maybe closer to nine minutes at this point. So uh, this is interesting and if you pan out and you get the shot, you can also take a shot of the brands and the lot numbers. Again, this is D'Alessandro uh, sold by Woodland Foods, their lot number 19-0121. This is Safrante, which is possibly the worst sample of all because in the Safrante sample, it appears that only about 30% of the threads, if that, possibly less, I would estimate between 25 and 30% of the threads are actually saffron stigmata. The rest of these threads are something else. In the harvest of saffron sample, I would estimate about 35% of the threads are actually saffron stigmata. And in the D'Alessandro, it's much harder to estimate because the pieces are so fragmented, but I would estimate about 50 to 55% of the threads are saffron stigmata. Compare that to ours, the Occidental Foods lots from both Siren and Pina, these would appear each if they are correct. The Pina we already tested before, and we estimated about 97 to 98% of the threads are stigmata. The others are stamens and styles, by the way, which is okay, and it is acceptable to have a small percentage of stamens and styles, but they should not be artificially colored. They should be pure. When the stamens and styles and the stigmata are altogether impure, and you have a small percentage of stamens and styles, you're gonna see those in the dry state. You're gonna see a very small percentage of the uh, yellow to off-white threads, okay? Now here, let's do a little test because that was the water, this yellow water from my finger. As you can see, it's still a nice clear yellow. But if we come over here and we take the Safrante sample, it's interesting. The water appears orange in the glass, less evident once you put it on the paper towel. But there's a very clear distinction there and the color is turning the water. So again, you want it to be a clear yellow as we see in the two samples on the right. The siren, I would estimate at least 98% of the threads in this sample are indeed pure saffron stigmata. And that pretty much sums it up. This is a similar comparison that we did 
a couple of weeks ago with another major brand, which was Roland Lot 324. The Roland sample was very much, very similar, I would say, to what we're seeing with the Harvest of Saffron or a combination of the Harvest of Saffron and the D'Alessandro quality. In all cases, the other brands turned the water orange to orange red after about 10 minutes of immersion, as these have done as well. And the pure saffron that we carry with Occidental Foods turns the water a nice, bright, vibrant, clear yellow. Okay, so now we're just gonna follow up. We just now did the video where we compared three other market brands, including one that's actually a very, very expensive brand, about double the price of ours that we sell with pure saffron. Uh, that clearly does also show signs of adulteration, not as much as the, the Safrante and the Harvest of Saffron were particularly bad, with the majority of threads clearly not stigmata of the Saffron Crocus. We did test before in a previous video the Roland Foods Lot 324, and it just occurred to me it might be good to also include this one in the video. Since we have these other brands side by side by side, we'll also just do a quick test with the Roland we had already looked at this again. We have pictures of this from before. Very fragmented, similar to the D'Alessandro, but many of the threads showing uh, an improper reaction in the water. And uh, as we had seen in the last video with the Roland Lot 324, that after about five minutes of immersion, as you can see the color is coming out very quickly, much faster than you would see in pure saffron. And after about five minutes of immersion, uh, this is going to show us, as we saw in the last video, it's going to already start to turn an orange. And eventually, after about 10 to 15 minutes of immersion, it will also turn the water an orange-red color. For right now, we can just take a look. Something is clearly not right with this because you can see threads sinking to the bottom very quickly. Saffron stigmata, when you place them in water, will not sink to the bottom, or certainly not in in water at room temperature, which this is. See how fast they're sinking? That's a clear sign of adulteration. Something is weighing those down, okay? It might be coated with something with a higher density that's causing those to sink to the bottom, something to increase the weight. The threads, in many cases, if you take an overhead, there's many threads there because it's very fragmented, just like the D'Alessandro, but you can see that many of those threads are starting to swell. And you can see that a significant percentage of those threads have already changed color. They've already turned a very light, pale, yellowish orange color, and saffron stigmata will not do that. Saffron stigmata, as we see over here on the right, this is already after 20 minutes of immersion of our Occidental Food Saffron, the peanut brand we have in stock and the one ounce tins for restaurants, and the Siren, which we have bought in a bulk one pound tin. This is a pre-shipment sample of lot 6592. As you can see, the saffron stigmata retain their shape and retain their color. The deep burgundy color that you see on the threads stays the same after immersion, and yet it turns the water a nice, clear yellow color. That's after about 20 minutes of immersion. This Roland sample, this has only been in the water for how long? About three minutes? Not even. Not even. About two minutes of immersion, two and a half minutes of immersion, and look at that. The water, even after just two and a half minutes of, of immersion in water at room temperature, it's already turning the water orange. That is exceptionally fast to turn the water a darker orange color, and that should not ever happen with pure saffron filaments. So we did see that before in a previous video, in a previous QC comparison that we did with the Roland against our uh, Pina brand. But now we can see all of them together, both of the brands that we are carrying and four major brands on the market. Each one of these four are found with large broadline food service distributors throughout the United States. And every single one of these four is clearly adulterated, as you can see from the watercolor and from the shape and color of the threads after immersion in water. Again, that's the lot 324 from Roland Foods. So let's pan out, get one last look at all uh, all six samples together and that should be sufficient even though it's only been a few minutes after immersion we can already see the effect on the color so there's really no reason to wait the full 10 minutes at this point it's already done something that even a bad saffron even an adulterated saffron if it was less adulterated might not be evident for a longer period of time like eight to ten minutes in this case it was evident even after just two and a half minutes of immersion which is a very bad thing 
Okay, that should do it.